we've added in some amount of code to create our data source at this point in time. So each time that we get a new list of users from Firebase, we will recreate our data source. There's just one last thing with this chunk of code that I want to draw your attention to. You remember how when we pulled in our list of employees to the employees reducer, we saw that it was an object that contained a bunch of employees. Okay, it was an object rather than the array that we expected. Now, the list of you data source, this clone with rows right here, it has no idea how to work with an object. It expects to be passed an array of record or array of objects to work with. So that means that not only do we have to add a map state to props here to get access to our employees, right? Because we still haven't done that. We also have to somehow convert that employees piece of state from an from an object of employees to an array of employees as well. So we got to do two things in here. We got to do the map state to props, and we also have to make sure that we convert it from an object or the list of employees from an object to an array. Let's first define our map state to props because that's going to be the easy part. So our collection of employees is available in here as state.employees. We're going to somehow have to figure out how to convert this thing from an object to an array. So this is <laughs> certainly another location where we're going to throw up a little bit of code on the screen and then figure out what's going on. The first thing I'm going to do is flip over to my terminal and I'm going to install a helper library called Lodash. Now Lodash has a whole bunch of helper methods for working with objects and arrays and it has one in particular that's going to help us out big time with this conversion going from an object to an array. So we'll install Lodash. I'm sure it'll complete in just a second. Then at the top of our file, we will import Lodash. Colloquially or by convention, we represent Lodash as an underscore, um, hence the name Lodash, like, you know, low dat. Well, you get, you get the idea. You get it. Now we'll come back down to our map state to props. And this is where we're going to do some magic. All right, so this is where we're going to do a little bit of very interesting little code. I'm going to say const employees is map state.employees. So state.employees right here is my object of employees. And then for every element in that object, every key value pair, I'm going to take the employee model, which I'm going to represent as just val and the key, which is really the user ID or the UID, not, excuse me, not user ID, but unique ID of that record. So the UID right here is the key of that employee. So the key and the value, key value pair. Then inside of this thing, there we go. I'm going to return, uh, let's do this like very explicitly, I will return I'm going to put on my curly braces just to make sure it's really clear what's going on with the syntax. So from this thing, I will return an object containing all the properties of the employee model, right? So that's val and the user ID. Okay, so this is a this is a nasty little chunk of code right here. What this says is state.employees is an object. It has many key value pairs. For each key value pair, and that, that iteration is done by the map right here, run this fat arrow function. The fat arrow function will be called with each value and key. And the key in our case is the ID of the record. Val right here is the user model. So it has the name property, uh, the shift property, and the phone property as well. We then create a new object. We push in all the values from that uh, from the user model, so the name, the phone, and the shift, and then we also throw the ID on top. So the end result will be an object that looks like this, something with like you know shift, Monday, name, s or whatever, an ID of some string of characters like so. So this is the end result. We craft this object for each object in the array. Then we collect all those objects and put them into an array, which is then assigned by employees, or assigned to employees. 
that last step, the like putting them into an array, that's what map does automatically for us. So after map executes the fat arrow function on every record, it then takes all of the returned objects and stuffs them into an array for us. So now the very last step, we can just return employees. So we will get this array of employees inside of our component as this.props employees, which is exactly what we expected with the uh, create data source method. So now the very last step is to add the map state to props to our connect helper as the first argument. So we'll say map state to props, like so. And then I think maybe it would be good practice to just throw in a console log and verify that this actually works. So inside of my render method, I'm going to console log this.props, like so. Now I'll do my refresh. Let's get our log here. Uh, because we just added in the Lodash library, of course, it's going to take a little bit of time to refresh. So now we will log back in. I will log in the first time. Here we go. Okay. So the instant the employee list screen showed up, we got the console log because it rendered the first time. It then called our action creator to go fetch some data. And after that data was fetched, we ended up with a second console log down here from the render method because our component re-rendered. So let's look at the first console log of our props object. You'll see that we have an employees of empty array right here because we have not yet loaded any employees. Then on our second console log, we can see that here's our employees prop. It is an array, it has four records in it, and each record is an object. So each record has the name, phone number, shift, and ID of that particular employee. This is perfect. This is ex exactly what our data source object expects. So we can now move forward and start working on making a list item or a component to show an individual row for each of our employees that we've loaded up.